so this is chapter 2 name of the chapter is self management skills 1 okay so what is self management self management actually is the process of organizing the resources and the uh, directing efforts to attain individual goals and objectives so beta we have certain goals and objectives in our life and we need to fulfill them and we have limited resources around us okay so whatever resources are available nearby us and whatever efforts we can put to attain our objectives to manage all these things is the process of self management okay so self management is the process of organizing the resources that are available and the efforts that you can put or an individual can put to attain the goals and objectives that are set in one's life okay so beta what is the objective of self management why we need self management because we want the maximum output with the minimum effort okay we want to put our minimum efforts but we want maximum output so we for that we need to manage certain things uh, and that process or that technique is known as self management self as the name itself is suggesting self means you have to manage yourself only okay if someone is behind you running behind you better do like this do like this so you will not be listening to him any more right because every time he he is saying like saying to you like this only ki manage this thing like read this chapter do this thing okay so if you are self motivated then nobody has to run behind you okay so you will not feel pressurized because if you are self motivated you are self driven you know very well what to do when to do and you are managing the things properly then definitely your output will be maximum okay beta this chapter is not about reading only it is this chapter is also about implementation also right it is very important chapter to implement in the real life also so don't take it ki we have we have to read this chapter learn from this lesson also this is very important lesson okay because if some somebody has to tell you when to study when to get up when to do what then your output will not be maximum okay but if you will manage yourself if you will be loyal with yourself then definitely you will get maximum output out of you okay so in order to maximize your output one should be stress free okay you should not take stress of the things rather you should take the work in a positive way okay you should have a habit of time saving how you can save your time by managing it because time is limited 24 hours only you will get in a day so if you are wasting that time definitely you will feel stress at the end of the day because uh, most of the time would have gone in wasting the things okay so we need to manage the time so how to manage the time prepare a time table according to your own capability everybody knows his or her potential so analyze that potential that i can manage this this much amount of work in a day or this much amount of work in an hour okay so if you will manage your time like that definitely you will save the time if you save the time you can use the time in some other tasks right so if you are saving your time you are uh, stress free then definitely you will be able to maintain a balance between your personal and professional lives so what is your personal life your personal life is related to you your family your friends okay so that is your personal space what is your professional life that that is related to your job okay so if you are doing good in your personal life and good in your job so there is a proper balance i think then if balance is there you will feel happy and you will feel satisfied from your life but if you are not managing the personal and professional life in your case professional will be your student life right so personal life means spending time with your family or friends and your professional life in your case it would be your study time right the uh, that time you need to manage you need to maintain a balance between your personal life and your professional life so what are the essential skills of self management sabse most important skill of self management is self confidence okay so self confidence it comes through your self belief what do you think of yourself how much you believe in yourself if you think i will do this chapter today so are you able to manage it okay what skills you are holding what abilities you are holding so it all together 
gives you the concept of self confidence okay self confident it includes the integration and synchronization synchronization is to keep something in parallel with each other okay so you need to integrate and synchronize the resources that you have theek hai to attain your purpose means your goals and objectives okay so self confidence it will come when you will synchronize you will put uh, the different things in you know accordance or we can say in the coordination you will put them and definitely then you will be able to attain whatever your goals and targets are so self confident it refers to the phenomenon of optimizing or utilizing the available abilities skills and the knowledge to achieve the predetermined goals okay so you need to uh, you know optimize the resources that capabilities and the skills and the knowledge you have to attain the goals and objectives of your life okay so what is self management it can be defined as the application of skills and strategies that help an individual throughout his life to achieve goals and objectives and become more productive okay so it it includes what it includes different things like self management it includes different th things like decision making time management stress management setting priorities positive attitude and many more things like your abilities skills and knowledge so if you are a good decision maker so you will be able to organize your things properly if you are doing time management okay then definitely you will achieve the target that you have set for yourself okay see but have one thing i just want to add that you must make a time table according to your capability okay we everybody knows what is my capability It means your capability you know very well so you should prepare a time table according to your capability if you know your learning speed okay you know how much time you need to learn a particular thing to revise a particular thing to implement a particular thing so you should make your time table yourself according to your capability and you should stick to it you should be strict with yourself also that i have to complete the target that i have set and do not make targets that are not realistic okay so you should make realistic targets what do what do i mean by the this word realistic means that that is uh, near to possible okay means if you say uh, you know your efficiency that you can cover only one and half chapter a day and you have set your target that today i will complete three chapters how it is it possible it is not possible at all so according to your efficiency you should make your targets and you should stick to them okay if you will not uh, ma make realistic targets then you will be under stress so stress management will not be there so you need to manage stress and stress can only be managed Uh, when you have a proper timetable and you have take uh, gone through a good decision making program okay see there are many things in life which are there and that we have to do every day so we must plan and we should set the priorities how to set the priorities like you have 10 things to do today but you know this is the most important one that should be done first so this way we can set the priority okay like you have to go for outing also you have to watch a movie also but your exams are also coming how you will set priority because exams are more important then you will skip your movie schedule or the outing schedule and you will firstly complete your studies then you will go for further things so setting priority is very important okay and should you should have a positive mindset also because if the positive mindset is not there then you will always be thinking negative and if you are negative then you are under stress if you are under stress your capability or efficiency will be decreased so always have a positive mindset theek hai and that will help you to maintain the balance between your personal and professional responsibilities or we can say personal and professional life okay so now next session is positive effects of self management what will happen if you follow self management firstly you will remain positive okay you will be self aware you will be able to manage stress you will be having a responsible attitude you will be having self control on yourself you will be self motivated and you will be comfortable in team work also okay so what is positivity 
see when we are self managed we are focused on the goals okay and we will be flexible enough to take the things in a positive way fine so there will be a good balance between personal and professional lives and the problems that are coming okay we will feel enthusiastic because when the problem will come we have we have a positive approach and we will look towards that problem uh, like we are we have to learn something from this also so when problems comes in your life don't take it as problem take it as uh, something new that i am going to learn from this particular thing so you will feel enthusiastic and you will feel confident also okay next is self awareness what is self awareness means you if you are self managed then you will be aware of your strengths your weaknesses your emotional strength your limitations so once you are aware that this is my problem i need to work upon it so definitely it will enhance your capability so if you are self aware definitely it will lead to better results and you will attain your goals and objectives very easily okay so self awareness is one of the very important you know effect of the self management okay now third is stress management so if you are managing the things on time and you are looking upon the things in a positive way definitely you will be without stress means you will your stress will be managed it cannot happen that no uh, no one will feel stress in any situation it can't happen but we can manage it sometimes we feel stress but if we do meditation we talk with ourselves we do regular exercises then these methods are really helpful in managing the stress okay next is your responsible attitude what do you mean by this term responsible attitude okay this is important concept you must listen to it very carefully so responsible attitude it means showing the acceptable behavior in personal and professional life as well as in the society so see uh, personal life means your your family your friends so they expect some behavior from you some duties from you okay similarly in while you are in professional life certain responsibilities will be attached to you so there is some acceptable behavior from you in your personal life as well as in your professional life so if you are able to attain that particular behavior in your personal and professional life then that means you are reflecting a responsible attitude okay responsible attitude means showing acceptable behavior means whatever they were expecting from you you are fulfilling that so that is your responsible attitude okay so it helps an individual to recognize his or her objectives of life and thus help the people to learn and even yourself you will feel uh, that you are improving your skills and you are achieving your objectives of life okay because if you are fulfilling the responsibility that was expected from you then the people around you will they will help you they will support you in achieving your objectives okay if you are not responsible at home if you are not responsible uh, towards your school duty then definitely uh, less number of people will be there for your support if you want support from others then you must fulfill your responsibility that is attached to you okay now next is self control if you are self managed then you will definitely have self control you will not unnecessarily show anger and your will power will also be strong so will power is also known as fortitude okay what is the other term for will power it is fortitude so you must practice to learn self control okay if you will how you will how you can practice self control you can practice self control by meditation just talking to yourself can also help you to control yourself okay if you you feel i i am unnecessarily doing uh, you know you know i am unnecessarily getting angry upon this thing so you should guide yourself i will not be angry next time on this type of concept so definitely this way you will learn to control yourself and ultimately you will be strengthened up with practice okay next is self motivation see self motivation means nobody is there to motivate you you yourself are motivating theek okay? hai so in this way if you are self managed you will be motivating yourself rather you must surround yourself with such people who keeps on motivating you okay those who are positive 
the have positive approach in the life can help you to uh, attain this self motivation technique inside you okay so always surround yourself with positive people read something positive always watch positive videos okay accompany those those persons who are positive and self motivated so you will slowly slowly learn the art of self motivate self motivation right so next is team work if you are self managed then definitely you will be comfortable in a team also because see we are we are social members or uh, we live in a society so we need to work together in family also we are not alone we have many uh, family members around us to with whom we can we have to coordinate okay so in while working in an organization we have to work with our team members so if we follow an approach that i i want to work alone so this will not work because while working in an organization we need to deal with a group of people okay and if we are able to coordinate with them cooperate with them definitely our growth will be better and we will be able to achieve our goals fastly okay so these were the important things that will be there means these are the positive effects of the self management you will be positive you will be self aware you will your stress will be managed you will be holding a responsible attitude you will have control on yourself you will be self motivated and you will be easy in team work also okay so self management is very important tool that should be practiced so what skills you will be having if you are self management what do you mean by self management skills so self management skills they help the individual to become more productive in their personal as well as in professional life productive means that you will be giving more output than the previous one okay so if you are having self management skills then you will not be under stress you will be able to manage your time properly you will feel confident and you will be able to take better decisions okay that will help you to attain your objectives easily okay so uh, this self management skills they also help uh, in creating an environment that help you to achieve your uh, goals with the available resources okay now next self management skills what are the self management skills that can help you to attain your targets first is the stress management if you learn the skills these self management uh, skills then you will be easy in your life so first is stress management if you learn stress management then definitely you will be able to maintain a balance between your physical and mental health see we people just focus on what we are eating okay so that we may have a good health but we people are ignoring our mental health what we are thinking is also important what we are eating is important and what we are thinking is also important if we are thinking negatively then it will degrade our personal health okay so we should think positive and if we want to say think positive then we should accompany positive people and we should keep away keep us away from the negative people or we should keep us away from the bad company okay we should uh, do exercise so that we may feel energetic okay so that will also help you to manage your stress fine if you are not under stress then you will be focused towards your goals and objectives why we are reading this stress management because we have certain goals and objectives in the life and that we want to achieve and for that we need self management so self management is very much essential okay next is your time management time management is also very important if you want to maximize your productivity then definitely you must plan the things you must schedule your schedule your time table okay the one important thing uh, tip i just want to give you i want to share with you because this is very important for you also in your day to day life but i always make short targets first do not make long targets at the initial stage that if see what i'm trying to say like your exams are approaching you said in one one week i will do this instead of it first make what you will do in one day okay so in one hour what you will do first first attain hour by hour then 
get set in one hour i will do this next hour i will do this in next hour that, that i will do this don't set the target like in one week i will do this you will not be uh, checking yourself in between like this okay so set your small targets first then try to achieve them and then set your long targets also if you are planning for a week then you should plan for each hour in this hour i'll do this in this hour i'll do this set your short targets so for that you need to prepare time table and stick to that definitely you will feel that you are maximizing your productivity and you are getting so much out of you okay so time table will help you to reduce your stress and it will help you to uh, attain your goals and objective also decision making decision making is very important tool so why it is important because decision making helps you to attain your objectives at a faster speed see like uh, your exams are coming now so you should th think of which chapters i should cover first for that you must have complete knowledge and information see firstly you must see what all chapters are coming and among those chapters what all are important for you okay so once you get the complete knowledge and information about your uh, things that you want to achieve then you can take effective decision if your decision will be effective means you have managed the things properly definitely you will see a great output of yours okay and you will feel confident you will not be stressed you will be not uh, not under the stress okay so if your decision making is effective then you will not be looking towards other to help you out okay and if you need help also then there is no problem otherwise but uh, you yourself are a better judge where you are lagging okay so next is your organizing skills so organizing skills actually it is a combination of planning prioritizing motivation and time management so you should do effective planning okay what you have to do when you have to do then we have lot of thing to do but what is the most important thing we must prioritize it okay firstly you are planning along with it you must prioritize the thing this is the most important thing that i should cover first okay so prioritization is very much important so once you will make time table also you will plan everything you will prioritize then you will need a constant motivation also okay so that motivation can be from your teachers from your friends from your family members you can motivate yourself also you can watch motivational videos also okay so something motivational should be there so that you may not get distracted from your path okay you can write something uh, on a piece of paper can keep uh, on your walls so that every time it is visible to you so that you may feel motivated right so proper planning prioritizing the things motivation and time table so organizing skill is a combination of all those four things so once you will implement all these things in yourself then you will feel the tasks are being done at a faster pace okay what is organizing skills organizing skills is also an activity that changes with any change brought about in any objective of an individual see let us say you have set a target that today i will complete this chapter by any reason because of any reason you were not able to achieve that particular target so what you will do you will not say ki no i will not do this rather bring some changes in tomorrow schedule so that whatever is left today can be covered up tomorrow okay so organizing skills will help you to organize these things also when there is sudden change in today's time table then you are able to manage it further okay so organize organize the things okay so for that you will again do planning that today i was not able to do it then how i have to adjust whatever was left today uh, so that i may cover it tomorrow okay again then you need to prioritize then again you have to motivate yourself you have to adjust your time time table also accordingly okay so organizing skill is also an activity that changes with the any change that you have brought in an objective of an individual okay so next is physical awareness see we must be aware that our physical health is important and your mental health is also important so we must uh, recognize or we must analyze how our health is responding we should take 
few steps to enhance our physical health also because health is very important tool if you are not feeling well uh, then definitely your output will not be good okay so we need to maintain a good balance between your physical health and mental health okay so power is there in the body and in the mind so if your body and mind they are healthy definitely you will be able to face the challenges and the diff difficult situations that are coming in your life so you must be aware about the physical surroundings and about your health also okay next topic is self confidence so what is self confidence it can be defined as uh, a belief or one's personal abilities or potentials and strengths okay so if you are self confident means your belief system is very nice you think in a positive way you know your abilities your potentials and strengths then definitely you will be uh, feeling happy to accept the risks and the challenges that are coming in your life so when new things come actually most of the people they hesitate to accept them so we must have a positive mind frame so that we may feel free to accept the challenges that new things are throwing at us okay so if you are exploring new things and still you are happy and then definitely you will be able to achieve your goals very easily and fastly also and we can say you will be able to maintain the personal and professional balance also okay now next topic is positive factors of self confidence what effects you will feel when once you have attained self confidence you will feel strength inside you you will be having a positive state of mind you will be having self faith inside you okay so self being self confident having self confidence is very much important okay what factors can affect your confidence level there are three main important factors that can affect your confidence level first is your social factor social factor includes your society and family okay so if your family is supporting you or your society uh, is also supporting you then you will be feeling confident okay if you if your society is not accepting you you have done something that is not acceptable by the society then definitely society will not support you if society is not supporting you and the people around you they are not uh, saying good words to you then definitely you will feel less self confident okay you may rather you may feel depressed so social experiences they also play a very important role in achieving the self confidence like you have participated in any of the competition and that competition is uh, you have won that competition and the people are coming to congratulate you so definitely you will feel so self confident your confidence will be increased rather if otherwise if you have participated in any competition and you have not performed well people are saying bad words to you or they are not supporting you so definitely you will feel less confident okay so social factor plays a very important role in your uh, means raising or degrading your self confidence okay now is cultural factor what is cultural factor it helps an individual to build up his confidence level self image and self respect okay see we live in society and there are different cultures and these cultures also affect the personality of the human being or we can say uh, the confidence level of an of a human right see uh, actually we have to follow our culture and sometimes we feel cultural pressures because uh, certain culture poses certain restrictions on in on an individual like uh, somebody has to dress in a certain way because his culture is not allowing allowing that particular individual to dress in other styles right like wearing sari is compulsory for a few you know a few uh, in few cultures it is compulsory but some ladies they are not comfortable in wearing sarees so if they are not accepting their culture they are not respecting their culture then individual will be not the individual not be respected by the society because he is rejecting the culture so the society will not accept him so sometimes this cultural pressure may also degrade the self confidence of an individual okay so 
cultural factor also plays an important role in boosting up or degrading your self confidence okay now next is your physical factor so physical factor is related to your health personality and your appearance so if you are dressed up properly your attitude is positive you have good uh, energy level in in your body so definitely your productivity will be improved and if you are performing well then uh, the society will accept you they will motivate you and definitely your confidence will again be boosted up so what are the three factors that can affect your self confidence positive factors of self confidence first is your social factor where comes the society and family and second is your cultural factor where play, where the culture plays a very important role in boosting and degrading your self confidence and third is your physical factor where your health personality and appearance plays a very important role in boosting up your self confidence okay next topic is last topic of this class is self confidence building tips how you can increase your confidence so first is stop negative thinking stop thinking negatively about you okay so because because this negative thinking it creates some emotional disturbances inside you and if you are not feeling stable emotionally then definitely you will not be confident and you will be disturbed so what you should do you should share your feelings with your friends or family and with a uh, person with whom you are comfortable so always share your negative feelings with someone and that someone should be positive in himself or herself then then only it is beneficial because you will if you are sharing your negative thoughts with a person who is negative already then he will degrade your quality of self confidence more okay so you should share your negative thoughts with someone who is positive in nature okay who is motivating in nature then second is uh, positive thinking so what you should do you should stop negative thinking and you should start thinking positively okay if challenges you are facing in your uh, life then what you can do you can think of from this problem also i will learn something so if you will think uh, for everything in a positive way definitely you will start feeling confident okay because every problem teaches you something so don't feel problematic under stress when something you are trying to do and you are not able to achieve it okay and you must follow this smile model what this smile model says s means start your day with positive way okay if with positive thoughts you must start your day you should manage your time okay and you should manage the time for your relaxation also imagine the best in every situation okay l is for learning to take feedback in a positive way if someone is saying this is not good inside you to don't feel demotivated rather feel that i uh, something new has been told me to inculcate inside me okay so you should learn from the feedback that is given by others and last is e is to express the gratitude gratitude means thankfulness so something if someone is helping you out in some ways then you should say thanks to that particular person like someone is teaching you someone is uh, giving you guidelines for anything someone is helping you so you should express gratitude thankfulness towards that person okay staying happy with small things small things can also change your life they can make you happy so dressing nicely dancing smiling meditating reading good books so these things can help you to stay happy rather these are the small things that can create fun in your life right next step is is to keep yourself clean hygienic and smart because if you are wearing good clothes you are taking bath daily you are maintaining a good hygiene regularly definitely your mood will be lifted up and you will feel confident then chatting with the pos- with the positive people always i told you to surround yourself with those people those who are positive those who are motivating okay because this regulates your feeling okay this mood uh, boosts your confidence level and it eliminates your negative thoughts okay so always surround yourself with the people who are supportive to you okay beta so your chapter is complete here so we have finished revision of chapter 2 okay